Hey y'all, welcome back to Adventuring with Amanda. Thank you so much for being here. If you are new to my channel, welcome. We are finally leaving the desert after really camping out here since October. Wow, I can't believe that we are headed into mid-April and we're still in the desert because that's what the weather has called for. As you guys know, I travel with the weather, so when it starts to get warm, I head up north and it's finally time. This is the first year that I will be spending my entire summer in Arizona, and I'm just going to move north with the elevation as it gets warmer. Here in the desert this weekend, it's supposed to get up to 95 degrees. Um, Yeah, way too hot, so we are headed up north and it's time to get the minivan ready for Northern Arizona. So that's what this video will be about. I'm also going to show you um, just a little bit of footage from changing my lift gate shocks. That is fixed, everything's good to go, very happy about it. Um, some new things that I got for the van and just kind of take you through that process. Also today, Winston and I will be shipping out the first shipment of Potographs more stickers. Um, we're almost sold out of the potograph, so that's really exciting. Um, so yeah, lots to do, lots to prepare for. So like this video, subscribe to my channel, and let's jump in. I have nice new clean lift gate shocks on both sides of my trunk hatch. Let me give you a quick glimpse into what the change looked like. All right, so this is the passenger side. This is the driver side. You can see the difference in dirtiness, the yeah. filth. This one went bad first, so this one had to compensate and do all the work, so now they're both bad. Okay. And that's why they both have to be replaced. Okay. Y'all, that fix didn't even take 20 minutes, and it is actually doable with one person, and all you need is a flathead screwdriver. Now look. Yay! <laughs> what a great day. It was, it was causing me so much anxiety because the lift gate is very heavy. And although I have the tarp poles now, um, it works. It opens uh, more quickly now since I have the good shocks. And then I can use the tarp poles that I have to simply uh, reinforce it when it's open. So, oh my gosh, I feel so much better. 40 bucks, not bad. So my shocks are fixed. I purchased them on Amazon. On Amazon, you can actually input the make and model of your vehicle so it matches up parts to your vehicle. But before I bought the shocks, I read some reviews and I verified the part number with my mechanic friend to ensure I was getting the correct shocks. They were $43 shipped to my house, literally got to me in two days via Amazon Prime. And there are actually instructions on the package of how to do it. So again, 10 minutes, um, Jordan showed me how to do it. It's doable with one person if you're strong enough to hold up the hatch yourself, like Jordan was strong enough to hold up the hatch by himself. Uh, me, not so much, so it would take two people if it was just me. Um, but it is totally doable. The instructions are right on there. And there are also a lot of YouTube videos of how to do it. Mine lasted five years on this van, so um, I'm, you know, hoping that my new shocks will last me the rest of the lifetime with this van as long as I have it, especially now that I have tarp poles to reinforce it. I went through and organized my rooftop box and removed a couple of items, including the winter cushion for my chair and I took the two by fours out of my big Cabela's bag and put them into this smaller one so it doesn't take as much space. I also added Winston's cooling pad and my tarp pole set. Check this out, y'all. So today I got some fake lilies and some orange, I don't know, something or other at the Dollar Tree, let's see, what are the, Cosmos Bush. So I added some orange and some yellow to my flowers. How pretty is that? And then here is the little cactus I got from Tombstone. So it's hanging right there. 
I had the pink and the blue and the white flowers before, but I was like, man, I just need a little bit, little bit more color for the spring, for the summer coming up. So I added some yellow and orange. So pretty. And my little cactus right there is perfect. Of course, I have my little fake llama succulent too, but just wanted to jazz it up since the seasons are changing. I wanted to take a moment to address a couple of things as well. Um, I made a community post recently about a lot of bullying that I've been getting. And it's just funny to me because, you know, I think with every YouTube channel, even Maddie gets like crazy comments on his YouTube channel and he's like one of the kindest men I know. It's just bizarre. I think a lot of people shouldn't have access to the internet, but I had one guy like comment on my YouTube a couple weeks ago. It looks like I've been gaining weight. For starters, I've literally lost 13 pounds since the fall, so I look and feel amazing, so excuse you, sir. But also, um, if you have time to comment that <laughs> on a woman's YouTube channel, like, you really need to get a life. <laughs> and you probably shouldn't have access to the internet. So, um, I also get a lot of men, and judging by their profile pictures, they're all older men, that comment on my nose piercing. Like, this is 2023, and if that's your biggest concern, again, you need to get a life. And I feel really sorry for the women in your life because you're probably a piece of crap. So, you mean nothing to me, and I'll just hide you from my channel. So, have fun with all of your low self-esteem and insecurities. <laughs> Y'all, look what else arrived. another Yargo solar panel. Look how small this is. Look how tiny it is. Oh my god, I'm so excited. This is another Yargo panel, 100 watts. So it's the same watts as my other one. Look at how cute. So this is their panel that folds out and up. So I've never used a panel like this. I'm so stoked. I'm just like, I can't get over how cute and like simple this is. I'm really excited to test it out. So I'll have a review coming of this panel after I have a chance to try it out, of course, but this will give me a really fun project for Northern Arizona. And I'm just really excited about this size. I can fit it like anywhere. I can fit it right next to my other solar panels in my trunk. So I'm really stoked about it. I don't know if I showed you guys, but I also put up the stickers that I got from the Tucson Street Festival. Those are on Winston's seatbelt, and I also clipped his U.S. Marshal pin from Tombstone on there. So I got all my new fun things going on. I currently have my 100 watt Yargo panel that I've been using out here charging my Jackery. And in the meantime, I'm just trying to decide where I want to put my new panel. So this is how small it is. Oh, I love it. I'm so excited. And I think it might be a little bit of a tight fit to put it right here uh, because that's where my Yargo panel goes and it might be just like an inch too thick or so. But um, I can, I don't know, I can move stuff around and, and kind of mess with it because it is so small. I mean, I could put it in my rooftop box, but I'm going to try and keep it here in the cabin. So just got to play a, a little bit of Tetris to get everything fitting how I want it. Okay, so here is the plan, y'all. So I am headed to my mom's on Friday. Maddie is going to meet me there, and then we will head up to Northern Arizona on Saturday and be there for however long. My sister does come into town from Miami on April 19th, so I will be back in the Valley before then so I can spend a week with my sister and my mom's birthday is during that time as well. So I will have some stuff to get back down south to do. Today I received 24 bottles of butane. Um, they're not all for me. 12 are for Maddie, 12 are for me. So we restocked on butane. I restocked on my coffee bags. I also bought some new uh, wireless earbuds that I'm excited about. Got a smoking deal on Amazon. Let's see, what else did I purchase? Oh, I also bought a lock. For the gym because I actually have been going to the gym not just to shower but to work out <laughs> and then I also bought a couple of new 
hanging organizers for the van. So I have yet to decide where I'm going to put them, but the goal is to use one for Winston's items. So I'm going to play around with that a little bit. It's going to be a fun project. And we fulfilled our potograph orders today, as well as some more sticker orders. We only have three potographs left, as well as two of the canvas art pieces that Winston made as well. So all of that is going in the mail today. Uh, so everything will have been shipped out as of what orders have, you know, come in by 4 p.m. my time today. And oh, yeah, so busy, busy. We've been busy here in the valley, but we are ready to head up north and get into the pine trees and have a change of scenery. So uh, thank you so much for watching this video. I appreciate you taking the time. Be sure to like and subscribe and we will see you next time.